Am I gonna have to solo this? Am I gonna have to be a one-man army for my squad right now to make you win this game? Get out of here! That is right guys, Fortnite is getting a brand new vehicle, this time being a single player only vehicle, it looks fun, could be crazy, not sure if we need another vehicle, but we're going to be taking a look at that and even more today, I cannot wait. First off though, I want all of you guys to leave a comment down below. How many kills do you think I'm about to drop in this Team Rumble game? As we keep you guys updated with the latest Fortnite news and information, this guy's got an RPG, please don't shoot me! We got him. See you later. Oh, I see you, buddy. Trying to hide up there with your plane? I don't think so. I miss Glider Redeploy so much, man. It is so good! Trying to build away? See you later. Wait. How are you still alive? No, 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 no. So, ooh, that is it. Right there. So, first of all, I'd like to make an apology. Um, in yesterday's video, we talked about all of the new and potentially OG returning skins within Fortnite. And uh, we talked about the fact that uh, many, many skins will be returning and actually a sneak peek at some of the new 2018 skins. But I completely looked over the fact, and it's so obvious, that both the elf skin and also the skin I was using in the video, which is the Red Nose Raider skin, which I absolutely love, are also both in the trailer that starts when Season 7 kicks off. So, I'm more than likely going to return. If you haven't done so already, make sure you're all ready for the brand new and returning Christmas skins in Fortnite by using Hey It's Me Ali in the Fortnite store. All of these guys have done it and they've gotten themselves a shout out. And if you do it and drop me a tweet, you could get a shout out in the next video too. So, thank you everyone so, so much. Let's make our way into the ring and see where all of these enemies are at then, eh? So... I actually think I was one of the, I don't know, this seems to happen a few times. I think I was one of the first people in the world to see this. I was just about to play a game of Fortnite. Went back to the news menu and saw that there was an update, which let us know that most likely tomorrow, if not slightly later in the week, but I think it will be tomorrow, we'll be getting ourselves a brand new vehicle in the form of the Drift Ball. That is right to you. Uh, is that guy firing off people? Is that, is that plane glitched? You okay, buddy? See you later. <laughs> Basically, to you and me, the drift board is a snowboard. And as I said at the beginning, it is going to be a single player vehicle, which I think is the first time we've ever seen that, actually. All the other vehicles, the ATK, even the shopping trolley is meant for two people. Never had a single player vehicle in the game before, and it looks absolutely amazing. Now, this in a similar form has actually already been within Fortnite, except it's not in Battle Royale. I'm going to surprise these guys will be stink bombs. They ain't ready. They ain't ready for the stink bombs I'm about to hit them with. Want to get yourself some supply drops? Here, take some... Take what the... Shoot me from that high. Get out of there. I think I may have been off a lot of ball back through here, to be honest with you. Literally, their whole team is here. RPGs are flying past. That's the guy I killed earlier. And even 142 damage to the face won't take them out, apparently. So the drift board specifically reads on the update, hop on the board and boost past your competition with this new single player vehicle. So it's going to have a boost functionality, which just sounds absolutely nuts. A little bit like, actually, a little bit like not only the airplane, but also the quad crusher as well. All of them having some sort of boost functionality. So this one means you could get around the map pretty damn fast. Except with it being single player and with it being an actual snowboard, I reckon it's going to be limited in a few main factors. So first off, the best way to use it, I think is the most obvious way to use it, is to go down somewhere. And please, 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 Fortnite, don't let there be any full damage. Otherwise, a lot of people are going to be dying from this new drift board. I guess potentially... See you later. I guess potentially just moving around a flat surface could work if you boost, but I mean, whoever snowboards around on a flat surface, and obviously going up is just not going to be useful at all. So it looks like it's going to be an awesome way to land on a mountain and then basically boost your way down at a million miles an hour and come riding in in style, to be honest with you. Oh my gosh, get deleted, mate. See you later. You know what? I've never played much of this mode, but it's actually a really good place just to practice, like, and get, in, get yourself a little bit warmed up. I've actually been out all day. 
filming for my new TV show, actually, which is just wrapped. Everything is filmed and ready to go out in January, which is really exciting. So this is my first game of Fortnite on today. Oh my god. I meant to dance to my teammate and he just got sniped in the chest. But this boost board has actually been seen before in a slightly different way. In Save the World, in the form of the hoverboard, you guys may remember when I got added in Save the World. It's definitely going to be different. If it works exactly the same way as the hoverboard, I'd be really, really surprised. Because the hoverboard actually allows you to just move around the map really quickly in any way you want. And it's, a, it's literally a hoverboard. I'm pretty sure his teammate just got him killed there by deleting his base, poor guy. The hoverboard at least gives us a good idea of what it's going to look like to be on this boosted board. And it looks pretty damn cool. But the first thing I actually thought when I saw this, I was actually shocked. I did not expect this to be coming out. And I think a lot of you guys may be the same because if you kept up to date with my teasers for Season 7 as we looked at all of them, what up, what up, what up, you will know that actually we were expecting a movement item, but we were expecting it in the form of the skis. So I believe it was the second or th second day, um, we got a nice little teaser, which actually showed, which we now know to be the Link skin, on what we thought was going to be skis. Link was standing forwards, uh, it looked like there were two parts to whatever she was riding on. So I thought it was going to be skis and maybe snowballs were coming as an extra, not this way around. So if those were skis that the Link skin was on, does that mean we're going to be getting a snowboard like this week and then maybe some skis later on in the season? We'll have to see. Or maybe it was just a snowboard all along. We just couldn't quite make it out properly. Either way, it's going to be an awesome new way to get around and hopefully isn't going to be too overpowered and hopefully won't ruin the fact that there's going to be, what, how many vehicles? Four, five vehicles in the game now? That's a lot of vehicles to have. This white wolf guy with his RPG is causing so much trouble to our team right now. Currently at 12 kills. If any of you guys guess less than 12 kills, you are incorrect. Now, although this update sounds pretty cool, uh, I can't wait to at least give it a go and see what it's like. Uh, one thing that I'm questioning, one thing that I'm really waiting on is like the big Christmas update. Now, I'm not too sure if it's going to be coming or how it will be coming, but I'm certainly expecting it. Just like in the Fort Nightmares update, where we got ourselves the Fort Nightmares skins, the zombies, and basically all the Halloween-y kind of stuff that we saw around the map, with the gradual changes of all the houses getting Halloween items on them. Hello, buddy. Hello. See you later. What are you guys doing? See you later, White Wolf. Oh my gosh, there's so many enemies over here. This is the great thing about this mode. Most people... Don't bother building, which is awesome. It's basically target practice, but we are now losing by one kill. Team, what is happening? Come on. God. Get out of here. Getting a little bit crazy now as we're both tied up. Now, for those guys that are paying attention to the map, you will know that all of the, or a lot of the houses, Already around, around the map, the starters have Christmas themed updates added to them. They've got tinsel around them, they've got lights on them. That guy is so, so weak. We just need one bullet. Can we get that 100% accurate bullet? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, baby. 18 kills already, we're looking so hot right now. People are landing in every direction. It's getting a little bit intense, my maps aren't looking too hot. Oh no. That's what we need, baby. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. So many enemies. So many enemies everywhere. I think Matt's is honestly the hardest thing about this game mode. Actually being able to build is so important as well. Put that quad launcher away, buddy. But along with a lot of the houses gradually turning Christmassy, last year we got a far bigger Christmas change with lights all over the maps on trees and bushes. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Oh, I, I am about to be rushed by their whole team by the looks of it. Everyone wants to be dead. Oh, no, that's not good. I've got no match. Don't think so. Try my best here, lads. Try my best here. It's him again. It just would be, wouldn't it? What else did we get last season? We got the snowball launcher change. We just basically got, like, one big Christmas update in the form of a lot of changes around the map. Apart from snow, which we have got this time. Fair enough. So, we'll have to see if they decide to do another big change or another big update. Or if it's just going to be gradual in terms of, like, little changes around the map. 
Now, Fortnite did say... Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? How can you fall to your death? There's glider redeploy. Come on. Oh my gosh. It is so busy right now. We're losing by 10 kills. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Am I going to have to solo this? Am I going to have to be a one-man army for my squad right now to make us win this game? I literally have more... I literally have like a third. More than a third of our team kills. One. Come on. Oh my gosh, 26 kills. Come on, team. Help me out here. Look at the rest of my team. Not a single person is more than double digits right now. I am a one-man army for my squad. Epic Games did say they're going to take a week off at some point over Christmas. I mean, they deserve a holiday, let's be real. This could be the boldest move in the world, landing on about 10 enemies. They've seen me. <laughs> They've seen me, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Come at me, bros. It's one HP. Come on. One of these sink bombs needs to hit him and we've got him. Just one of them. No, it's not hitting the right person. This guy actually has building materials. That's not good news at all. Take that. Take that. Oh. Got him. See you later. Come on, team. Come on, team. We are three... Two kills away from losing this. I have almost 30 kills. I have almost half of our kills. How is this happening right now? That guy's got a scar. Can we survive and at least get another point on the board for our squad? Can we make this happen? No! 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 28 kills! What more do you want me to do? That was actually so much fun. You know what? I hope they keep this mode in for a little bit longer. Because, like, literally just to warm up each day. This is actually seriously good. I really, really like it. But, big news is, looks like tomorrow we're going to be getting that brand new drift board. And I'll have a video out, obviously, straight away. Cannot wait to see how it works. And keep an eye out for all of those Christmas skins returning, both old and new, coming to the game. And we'll see if we'll get a big Christmas update maybe next week. Or, maybe they'll take their week off next week and let everyone chill over Christmas. Which is actually kind of what I hope they let us do. Anyway, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with some early gameplay of the boosted board. I hope you've enjoyed. Check out more videos on screen here if you want to go and see some more Fortnite action. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new update.